a mother's heart is an abyss at the bottom of which there is always forgiveness. A no de Balzac. Or something like that. The raid on Labastille ended with nothing but more deception and emotional holes. Sure, Madame's rule has come to an end. But my past still eludes me. Without my memories, I have no choice but to follow Edge's instructions with hollow conviction. And despite the atrocities I witnessed in that prison winning me over to the errorist cause, the recovered memory of my crime is gnawing away at my soul. I pushed a man to suicide. What else have I done? Worse? Edge only sees cause for celebration. Our liberated comrades have remembered their credo and taken up the fight against sense and technology once more. And now he wants to strike at the heart of the reconversion project and smash Memorize forever. His plan, go for the Queen Bee. Scylla Cartier-Wells, president of Memorize. I must remix her worldview, skew her past and soften her heart. And so I asked myself, is winning this struggle worth losing my soul? Can one crime justify the reversal of another? The old Nilin seemed to have the answer. As for this Nilin, she doesn't have a clue. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say there's a lot possibly more going on story-wise than what we're being told. What I mean by that is specifically that if memories can be rewritten and everything else or changed and Nilin only has a partial fragment of memory, it's also even possible the fragment she has isn't even the real memory of her own. Like, it's the actual memory she's supposed to have. So story-wise, there's, there's still some intrigue here that we can get into. Anyhow, we're back at St. Michael's. After the flood and all the bullshit we caused. You're going to infiltrate the Memorize head office. Find that bitch Scylla and put an end to her reconversion project. Crush her errant beliefs. We must stop her from building an army of leapers. Can I ask why I'm losing hold of that? as high as I can raise it, huh? Anything else I can do? Nothing else I can target? Nope. Okay, that cannot be the right way then. At least I'm pretty sure. Let's go around here and see what's going on in here. Hey, robot lady! Robot lady. Can't do anything about you. What about over here? Anything interesting? It's all dark and shit in here. Oh, hi. I've been missing you guys. That's okay, though. It happens. Alright, let's go in and unlock some stuff. Maybe there's something useful I can get. Another power attack could be useful. Uh, yeah, let's get a power attack. I don't have enough of those. I might not have enough. I mean, you know, I almost have them all, but... Okay, let's go up here. I'm in a slightly schizophrenic mood at the moment, so... Don't mind me. I just may be being crazy. All right, that might be what it, this was doing. By raising this, I get rid of the electricity problem, and oh, that's useful. That's kind of cool. I'm still not completely sure why the heck we have the force. This is still one of those things that's like, we are somehow, like it said we're overriding the circuits of electrical stuff and all that, but I mean, really? Really, I'm not really buying this whole crap anymore unless every single thing in this world somehow has electronics in it 
including just random metal bars and crap. Which, I mean, I guess is technically possible, but I don't know. It's starting to get a little, a little much for even for me. I like how the robots are still going around. They're all like, oh, we're still going to do stuff. Sign with an item up there. That sign... Okay, so we can't obviously go back. That's not possible. So it's up there and to the left. Oh, God. I can't see what the hell's going on. Ah. No dodge! Where's the guy? There he is. I keep forgetting I have like all of these amazing abilities now. Yeah, you're in trouble. And now I'm going to do this on you too, just for fun. Oh, I forgot I can get hit by that too. Oh. So camera angles like that really suck when you're fighting, especially in a game where you need to be able to see the stupid little reticles and shit on their head so you know to dodge. Now I can get up there though, and this is where the uh, item is. Focus boost. Forbidden access. Don't go that way. Not oh, there's anything that useful that way anyway. Alright, so back over here. Climb up, lady. Nothing interesting over here. What's that? Oh god blood. Hurry. This is our last chance to shoot memorize. Right in the brainstem. Another errand. I'm not some obedient valet, Edge. Then I'm not your conscience, Nilan. You're as free as any other human. Bullshit! <laughs> oh, that's what I'm gonna call that one. Bull... Shit. He may say that, but there, there's a lot more to this game. Especially at the moment with the fact that, you know, we've caused already so many problems and everything else. We're, we're not really that free, let's be really honest here. We go anywhere where they recognize our name or face and they're going to... Bust a cap on our ass, rip our head off, or God knows what. So, that whole freedom thing is bullshit. Likewise, we don't even know who the fuck we are. Hey, lady. Robot thing. Is this like a room where people like get dressed and stuff? It looks like a dressing room. Anyhow, bye. The force, Luke! Use the force! Hey, we're back in this place, I think. Yep. I know this place. It's been trashed. The heiress are causing chaos throughout the city. Use the diversion. Get up to Scylla's office. Citizens of Neo Paris, the Leaper threat has been addressed. Thanks to the reconversion, they now live that. to serve you faithfully. From sanitation to saber force, they have become productive servants uh, of society. I want to. Oh the hi. Reconversion project. I saw you. Where are you? Humane responses to barbarians. Thought I saw so, saw one. I I must be completely retarded because I thought I saw one of those little 
robot things. So the question is, how do I get over there? Because that's where I want to go. Citizens of Neo Paris. That's what I'm going to do. Has been Thanks Let's to move this up. Project, they now live to serve you faithfully. From sanitation <laughs> to saber force. They have become... Really? Really? Citizens of Neo Paris. Nillin. The lethal threat has been addressed. Thanks to the reconversion project, they now live to serve you faithfully. From sanitation to saber force, they have become productive servants of society. The reconversion project by Memorize. Humane responses to barbaric perils. I will say their whole humane response to the barbaric perils Citizens thing is a bit much. Neo Paris. The leaper threat has been addressed. Thanks to the reconversion project, they now live to serve you faithfully. From sanitation to saber force, they have become productive servants of society. The reconversion project by Memorize. Humane responses to barbaric perils. For some reason, I'm not sure I can make that jump. Maybe I can? Barely. Okay. So there is an item over here. Neo Paris Landmarks. Alright, what's the journal say? St. Mikhail Dam. An immense work of art, the St. Mikhail Dam contains a vast mass of water known as Lake St. Louis. It represents the pinnacle of a huge construction project designed to control the erratic tides of the river water in the Neo-Paris Basin. Erected in the early 2060s, it is a system of dams, locks, and reservoirs protecting the buildings and citizens of Neo-Paris from the damaging effects of flooding and rainwater. The St. Mikhail Dam is at, heart, at the heart of this fluvial, fluvial structure and holds 65% of the total mass of water that is contained in the city artificially. The large-scale structure dominates the St. Mikhail Quarter, protecting a substantial area of mid-Paris. The Lake St. Louis extends upstream of the St. Mikhail Dam and the most wretched areas of deep Paris are located along its banks. The lake separates the most insalubrious zones, Slum 404, from the affluent districts, St. Mikhail. Further east, it surrounds La Bastille, sealing it off from the rest of the city. Besides allowing the authorities to control the water levels, the St. Mikhail Dam also serves as a hydroelectric facility and generates a significant amount of power for the city. Well, that's nice. Has been addressed. Thanks to the reconversion project, Tell me, Edge, how did you recruit me to the aerist corps? Tommy claims that you just showed up in his bar one day. A lost soul. Adrift in a sea of regret. He says that he knew immediately that you were going to be one of us. But who can trust his memory these days? You know, sometimes I think you're a better poet than a freedom fighter. Perhaps in another world I am. So, we're starting to question all of our own beginnings and everything else, which is a good thing because this edge guy is a lot of flowery words and not a lot of substance. Citizens of Neo Paris, the leaper threat has been addressed. Nah, uh, huh. keep, keep saying that. Keep saying it's been addressed. Keep saying that, because we already know. It, uh, freaking. Can I just blow that up? I mean, honestly. I like how I've got the ability to do a lot of things, but I can't blow that up. Come on, Nillin. You can make it. And if it sees you once, it'll shoot you and you'll die. That's the way this shit works, don't you know? Bye. There's a hidden item. Past the drone somewhere. It's not over there. Not back the way we came for sure. So let's see, it's one of these two routes. Okay, so there's something here I'm definitely missing that I could be doing. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Well, that's where the item is. So what we do here is we need to actually... Let's go, the guy go about his way. And... <laughs> get shot, apparently. But that's definitely what we need to do. More drones. Come on, Lillian. You can make it. Alright, so that's not too hard. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Yes, yes, yes. Now get in there. Look at a good drone. Now we have to be very, very on top of our game here. Let it go in. Let it come back. Ha ha! We got it! Sweet! Alright. I guess we just go over this way. Do we not go up? We just drop down. Okay. Why don't we just drop down to begin with then? The Sabre Force has the district locked down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't really mean a whole lot. They're not doing a very good job of it. These security personnel need to really update their training. Okay, so what is that? It's behind a fence. You can see a sign with green glowy guy thing there. Is that what that is? Oh, it's like a little robot thing named Jax. So you can see... So, okay, let's find that Jax sign. I'm waiting for the Aeris guys to start trying to murder us. Edge. All this flood damage. They've lost everything. We did this. The world is drowning, sis. You're the only one that can throw us a lifeline. You're talking in riddles, Edge. You there are my it is. Scalpel, I can see it. A weapon against a planet full of tumors. A scalpel. Wow. Interesting metaphor. Apparently, we're his weapon now. Nice possessive, you know, words there. We are not our own free agent anymore. We are now his weapon specifically. I didn't see a way for us to jump over there, so it's probably gonna be some other way around to get to where we need to go to grab that item. Hi. I want to get over there, though. How the fuck do I get over there? That's the question. You. Die. Let's see if there's any way I could have gone over there before that I missed, and I really don't see one, so... I'm just gonna make the assumption that there isn't. Oh. Maybe there was, and I just didn't notice it. There's no way for me to jump back up here, though, is there? Nope. Hi! Hi! <laughs> That was easy. Kicking people off the of ledges, I like it. Okay, so we gotta jump over there. I will say the ambience crate in this scene 
by the way it was designed and all that is actually really good, save for the fact that I just jumped off the freaking building again. This is way too easy to do. Like, oh, the camera keeps panning over to the left and it's annoying the shit out of me. Quit angling to the left. Yes, straight on. Thank you. Don't want to turn into them. Yeah, it'd be a small problem, wouldn't it? So there's one hidden that item down there. It's not down there though. Is that the dude we're looking at? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like that dude at all. It's not down there. Can I jump up here? No. It's gotta be further along, but it's not this. Anything to the right? Aha! We found something. Good job, lady. Another focus boost. Enjoy that. And now we're back all the way over here again, exactly where we need to be. Any more leapers? They don't look very friendly. Time to die! Oh god! Freaking... Hiders. Oh darn it. Need to use my special abilities more and nuke the shit out of people. What is going on there? Any lights I can turn on at all? No. Stupid needing. <laughs> Screw all of you guys. I like how it didn't focus on him at all. That's annoying. Bye, bye. Did not dodge fast enough, Ellen. Oh, just die. 
Really? Anyone else? Leapers everywhere. The district is infested. It was inevitable, but fortunate. They're drawing all the attention while you sneak in to memorize HQ. They're drawing all the attention while you sneak in to memorize HQ. And everybody else gets eaten. Why did you do this to us? Forget me. So the question becomes, okay, so there's someone on top of the ledge where you can see this door. So it's obviously right over here. This is an easy one. But easily missed if you were just looking at the door and be like, oh yes, door, go through the door. All right, so... All revolutions have bad things to the curve, but we have got some pretty nasty things in the past, you know, little bit here. Oh, ho, ho, hi. 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 Go. Go. Okay, so he can't see us if we're all the way over in the corner. There's some way we need to get by him, though. I'm not completely sure how that is. There's not really a sneaky part on an edge or anything anywhere I can get to there. I'm really paying attention. Maybe there's something I can... Now the question is, did it still have me getting that item, or did it completely rewind me and not have it? Because the game seems to have done that la a previous time. Yeah, it completely rewinded without me getting it. That's annoying. So I remember getting a piece of uh, lore about the Charles Weber, what's his name, dude. And I guess I died after getting it and not didn't record me actually having it, which is kind of sucky, to be really honest. Oh well. Thing is, I don't see a place I can jump to. I'm not sure I can actually get by this thing just jumping around the edge there. I might be able to, but I'm not really 100% positive that's the way this works. Okay, so I can't go there. Oh, I got an achievement. Ha ha, I've been killed by Jude so much. Ha ha. Isn't that so funny? No, no, it's not. Okay. Get this item again. And look at what I'm obviously missing, because this should not be that hard. I could always hope the game errors in my favor somehow and be like, Ah, oh, you are you didn't get that before, and then give me five out of five or something. But it's not going to. So yes, there is definitely something I'm missing through this door. Oh, I see. I have to actually be outside the door to get past him. I'm a retard. Oh, wow. That was so freaking easy. Uh, oh. The fuck? Cause you to take damage. What did you do? 
shoot her. So what the heck am I supposed to do against an elite enforcer then if it's causing me to take damage? Do I have to just have something that constantly heals me then? Y, X, Y, X, Y? I may need like a complete like healer combo. Uh, so let's... Let's try that, shall we? Let's go with... I'll need the X and Y back. I guess I could just do this X here. And that'll have me heal a lot. I just put this hex here, and this Y here. Y, X, Y, X, Y. So that hurt a lot. Hi. Neo Paris history. Anything else over here? No, okay then. Climate migration. The contribution was considered biased based the majority of viewers. A constant stream of climate migrants flocked to the borders and fortress boundaries of habitable areas. Migrants fleeing the devastated, flooded, and arid areas were easy prey for looters and organized crime networks, and today between 50 million and 1 billion human beings are destitute. The number of stateless persons with no safe haven began to increase dramatically in 2038. Ship cities sailed around aimlessly, bound for nowhere. Refugee camps were full of the poorest people, nomadic microstates appeared, and shantytowns sprang up in red areas, toxic waste landfill sites, and contaminated military zones. Most nations built or reinforced their defensive walls and structures and erected coastal protection facilities to hold back the human tide. This happened in the United States, Canada, Japan, China, and in the European countries where legitimate governments were still clinging to power. The city-states that had been spared or rebuilt after the Civil War relocated their citizens, creating ghettos and human wastelands on the periphery of their territories. Vast, lawless areas teeming with foreign nationals, illegal immigrants, and the most deprived of all of humanity. Well, the world was fucked. In a not kind way. Let's go through here and see what's going on. Robot drone anything? Oh god! Don't scare me like that. You suck. It's just a shutter there. Sidla can lock him in there permanently. Is there anything in there worth of any value? No. There's probably something of value in the other one though. Close that, thank you. Anything in here of value? Is there a reason why? So the question becomes, is he gonna walk in here and then am I gonna be in trouble? Okay, so he will walk in there. The goal is basically to lock them in these. Let this guy go in, turn around, and lock him in. It's a great idea. Hi guys, have fun. I need health. 
Like, whoa. Thank you. So, we're not going towards administration. We're going this way. Another one of the beautiful little areas. Edge. I'm right in front of the memorized HQ. The lower floors are flooded. How do I get in there, Mastermind? Have I ever failed to deliver? There's VIP access on the roof of the building. I've got everything covered. If you had everything covered, how come I got thrown in jail for murder? Oh, silly. Don't you understand? Somebody had to take the fall. And like Edge was gonna take the fall. Come on, sweetheart. He's not that dumb. I feel like a douche saying that, but it's so true. That's the worst part. We have we know it's freaking true. <laughs> Something interesting must be getting ready to occur. Ugh. Edge, your way ain't gonna work. You got a plan B? I'm inside their comms. Building's locked down. You need to track down a Captain Trace and steal his access codes. Careful, sis. He's eccentric and very dangerous. Okay, we need to move. Where can I find him? Give me a second to do an og lock on his position. Oh, hi. This is going to be problematic. Hello, Nillin. Let's play a little game of you turn yourself in, but I shoot you anyway. Edge? Captain Trace? He found me? And he's got a freaking... Helicopter. Holy hell. She's on her way to Grandma's house with a basket full of goodies. Come on, Nillin. Faster, faster, faster. There's a big man on the wolf. A hunting in the woods. Oh, did I just get killed? Oh, I just got shot. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Need to go faster. She's on her way to Grandma's house. With a basket full of goodies. There's a big bad hungry wolf. A hunting in the woodies. Get up, 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 up. Increase your rate of climb. Biggest teeth are. Right. His jaws will not be 
So what's with this little red riding hood chick? Freaking hell. Oh my Miller. What small blood teeth you have. What what is this shit? Yes. Slow blow. Can make you dance all night. Come here, you bitch. You won't show up. Yeah, healing. Is that it? Oh, fuck both of you. Royally in the ass. Done. Thank you.